glory to Jesus Christ. Today we'll be reading the gospel for the Sunday of the Last Judgment, uh, and then some texts from the Lenten Triodion, specifically from the Matin service of the Sunday of the Last Judgment. So the gospel that we read uh, is Matthew 25, 31 to 46, uh, and we'll read that and then the text from the Triodion. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry, and feed you, or thirsty, and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger, and take you in, or naked, and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick, or in prison, and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will also answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you, hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Assuredly I say to you, inasmuch as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. And then some texts from the Lenten Triodian. Again, these texts are from the Matin service. I think upon the fearful day and lament my evil acts. What answer shall I give to the immortal king? And with what boldness shall I, the prodigal, gaze upon the judge? O compassionate Father, only begotten Son and Holy Spirit, have mercy on me. O Lord, supreme in love, as I think upon thy fearful judgment seat and the day of judgment, I tremble and am full of fear, for I am accused by my own conscience. When thou sittest on thy throne and brings all to trial, none will be able then to deny his sins, for the truth will accuse him and terror will constrain him. The flames of Gehenna will roar and the sinners will gnash their teeth. Therefore, have mercy upon me before the end, and spare me, judge most righteous. I think upon that day and hour when we shall all stand naked like men condemned before the judge who accepts no man's person. Then shall the trumpet sound aloud, and the foundations of the earth shall quake. The dead shall rise from the tombs, and all shall be gathered together from every generation. Then each man's secrets will be manifest before thee, and those that have never repented shall weep and lament, departing to the outer fire. But with gladness and rejoicing, the company of the righteous, righteous shall enter into the heavenly bridal chamber. How shall it be in that hour and fearful day when the judge shall sit on his dread throne, the books, the books shall be opened, and men's actions shall be examined, and the secrets of darkness shall be made public. Angels shall hasten to and fro, gathering all the nations. Come ye and hearken, kings and princes, slaves and free, sinners and righteous, rich and poor. For the judge comes to pass sentence on the whole inhabited earth. And who shall bear to stand before his face in the presence of the angels, as they call us to account for our actions and our thoughts, whether by night or by day? 
how shall it be in that hour? But before the end is here, make haste my soul and cry, O God, who only art compassionate, turn me back and save me. And then the last text for today, Daniel the prophet, a man greatly beloved, when he saw the power of God and cried out, the court sat for judgment and the books were opened. Consider well my soul, dost thou fast? Then despise not thy neighbor. Dost thou abstain from food? Condemn not thy brother, lest thou be sent away into the fire, there to burn as wax. But may Christ lead thee without stumbling into his kingdom. And then this is the gospel for the Sunday of the Last Judgment and these texts from the Triodian that hopefully allow us to wake up uh, and really think about this, this upcoming fast and all the work that we have to do. Glory to Jesus Christ.